been a strange couple of days in LA, hasn't it? It's been kind of cool and chilly. How do you feel? Are you all right in this chilly weather? I, I, I don't mind it. I don't mind throwing on a little sweater every now and then. You yeah. Know? Yeah. Are you feeling colder post the weight loss? Dude, so much. Yeah. It's, in, it's insane. I used to be a shorts in, in any kind of weather guy. That's true. You were. Everyone would be like, it's so cold. How's Ian wearing shorts and a t shirt? And you realize. Yeah. Because I had I was, I was wearing layers all the time. Yeah. I'd be like, I don't get cold. Well, like a meatball fell out of my sandwich. But yeah. I... <laughs> but look. <laughs> you don't come here for the weather. <laughs> you don't. You come here for the news. <laughs> you come here for hard facts, and damn it, we're gonna give it to you because. <laughs> The vote on President Biden's COVID relief bill has been delayed in the Senate, and it looks like it could be delayed even longer. Republican Ron Johnson is planning to force a reading of the entire 600-page bill on the Senate floor, which would take 10 hours. I'm going to wait until it's adapted on Netflix. I'll watch it then, <laughs> you know? The, the 600-page bill would be read aloud in the Senate for 10 hours. This is the political equivalent of making someone come to your improv show. <laughs> Isn't it? OK, I need a city and an occupation. What do you got? <laughs> He's planning to force a reading of the entire bill out loud. If you ask me, Ron Johnson is acting like a real Ron Johnson. <laughs> Isn't it? If you're not familiar with Ron Johnson, he's what happened when an experiment to clone Mike Pence went wrong. <laughs> <laughs> In other White House news, President Biden's cabinet is taking shape, but it's coming together more slowly than any other administration in modern history. Currently, Biden's cabinet is half empty, although I prefer to look at it as half full. Oh. <laughs> I don't know what people expected. The man first ran for president in 1988. He didn't win until 2020. Speed isn't really his thing. <laughs> Plus, Biden's 78 years old. Usually, when he fills a cabinet, it's with cute little figurines that he painted in a ceramics class. <laughs> Moving on to the COVID front, we thought this was interesting. In order to protect vaccines from being stolen, shipping companies are now using, quote, James Bond-level security measures, including panic buttons, kill switches, and undercover guards. The name's Johnson. Johnson. I don't know why I put an American accent. <laughs> <laughs> Why did I do that? It's so, like, we're doing Bond, in case you didn't... Yeah. Why did I do that? It is, the yeah. most iconic British character outside of Paddington. I think you were... Because you were about to say Johnson, you got... You took back to the... I got took back to Ron Johnson. Yeah. Yeah. And that's a very astute Guillermo. Or you're predicting the next James Bond won't be British. I think he will be British. <laughs> you, don't, you, you, think, you really think so? I think so. I don't know. Who do you think the next Bond will be? You've got to put your money right now on someone. Who is it? You know, I wanted it to be Idris. Yeah. Because I think that that would have been cool. But, uh, gosh, it's, it's a hard one, man. It's a real hard one. I think one. it might be your Bridgerton man. He, he's almost too beautiful to be James Bond. You're absolutely right. He's, You're absolutely right. He's so gorgeous. that yes. it's like, I, I, it'd feel bad enough to get beat up, but then if it was by a guy that good looking, like, yes. he wouldn't have to kill anybody. They'd do it to themselves. He doesn't have the <laughs> eyes. He doesn't have the eyes of a killer. Yeah, like yeah. Daniel Craig, is, he's hot, don't get me wrong. He's like, but he's rugged, you know? Rugged. He's hot, but he could, he could, he could be an Uber driver. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Five wrong turns in his life, and he's an Uber driver. Three wrong choices. Three wrong choices. You're like, oh, I'll tip him 20%. He was pretty hot. <laughs> I'm always shocked in Bond that when he says the name's Bond, James Bond, nobody goes, oh, from the films. Yeah. Yeah. Not one character... Not one character in Bond has watched a Bond movie. I'm constantly amazed. They're like, oh, my God, from the films based yeah. on the Ian Fleming books. Yeah. You're that, guys? <laughs> Not one. So, anyway, back to the original show. Hiya. <laughs> OK. The name's Johnson. Johnson & Johnson. <laughs> wow! The vaccine is exactly like the upcoming James Bond movie. Both have been delayed multiple times, and I'm getting pretty frustrated by it. <laughs> In fact, this whole thing has already inspired the next Bond film, Goldfizer. 
Should we put together a heist, a crew for a heist, to try and get these vaccines that they're shipping around? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like us in here. I think we've got a good crew here. Who's yeah. the grease man? What's a grease man? The grease man, right there. Oh. There he is, right there. Gotcha. Hey, grease man. You're the grease man, right? This is an English thing I don't understand. The You're the grease, grease man. You know, you, 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 you get in amongst it. I don't understand either. I just... <laughs> I thought it was an American thing. <laughs> As I look around the room, I'm less confident in our abilities. <laughs> Wait, what are the positions? What are the positions? There's a fixer. You need a fixer, too. You need a... Oh, I think... I think... I think... Driver. I'll be the driver. Yeah, yeah you'd be a good driver. Reg is the driver. Hagar is a temptress. <laughs> and Gala... We did, they don't even know this, and Gala was placed in the van at the depot in a box full of vaccines. <laughs> Hagar, it's your birthday tomorrow, right? It's a... Uh... Is it tomorrow? No, it's, a... it's Saturday. It's when? Saturday. Saturday? Yeah. Well, then forget it. Um... <laughs> <laughs> and did you guys see this? <laughs> Happy birthday for Saturday. Happy birthday for Saturday. Happy birthday, Hagar. You're the loveliest. Now, did you guys see this? A group of great apes at the San Diego Zoo have become the very first non-humans to get the COVID vaccine shot. Yeah. Good to know where you rank, isn't it? <laughs> Good to know on the list of species that we really can't live without how far you are after a load of apes at San Diego Zoo. <laughs> the vaccine was given to several great apes, Plus a couple of good apes and then one ape who's just sort of OK. <laughs> uh, and, th and this is true. One of the apes is an orangutan named Karen. She wasn't originally supposed to receive the vaccine, but she just complained to the zoo's manager until she finally got her way. <laughs> and in international news, visitors to China are angry because everybody coming into the country is now required to take China's version of a COVID test, which is administered by anal swab. <laughs> China says it's more accurate. Others say it isn't. I think someone should really get to the bottom of this. <laughs> there should be some sort of probe into this. <laughs> Visitors to China say they're being pressured to take the anal version. Chinese officials keep saying to them, come on, it's my birthday. <laughs> Try it once. <laughs> and look at the instructional graphic that goes along with the test. Look at that. Oh, my God. That was someone's job to make that. Someone had to... Do, someone's sitting at home, drawing that, and someone's like, dinner's ready. You're like, no, I'll be there in a minute. I just got... I can't get this... I can't get this butt swab right. Would you... <laughs> I can't... Would it, I can't... I'll be right there. <laughs> And this is exciting. The maker of a supersonic jet, which will be able to fly from London to New York in 90 minutes, <laughs> has just revealed what the inside of the jet will look like. Here it is here. Look at that. It looks gorgeous. Damn. The first passengers that will be allowed to travel on this are the great apes from the San Diego Zoo. <laughs> <laughs> Not to be outdone, Spirit Airlines have just announced that they can get you from L.A. to San Diego in just under seven hours. <laughs> Unless it's a holiday, then it's 11 hours with one stopover. <laughs> and finally, we wanted to show you this because it's our mission statement. Um, and inf <laughs> an infectious disease expert at Harvard University recently tweeted a photo of Johnson & Johnson's vaccine effectiveness, and it looked like, well, see for yourselves. <laughs> Look at those numbers. You can tell Johnson & Johnson is excited. <laughs> Come on, guys, the vaccine was supposed to flatten the curve. <laughs> now, I know what you're thinking. Is this news? No, not really. Do we enjoy looking for new ways to undermine CBS sensors on a nightly basis? We'll let you be the judge. <laughs>